President Rodrigo Duterte will not hesitate to fire all employees and officials of Bureau of Corrections proven to be involved in corruption. It was revealed during the Senate hearing that some Bucor employees asked for a certain amount for the early release of inmates through the Good Conduct Time Allowance or GCTA law. Even if it was regular or allowed, corruption was there. So setting aside all the legal uh, infirmities there, even if it was allowed, corruption was present. Sabihin ko lang sa inyo. And everybody will go, will have to go. Alam nila yan. The president mentioned this during the inauguration of a business and government center in Bataan on Thursday evening. But despite the GCTA controversy, President Duterte has insisted that not all Bucor officials who gave go signals to free inmates based on GCTA law should be penalized. He said the provision of the GCTA law itself is problematic. If it was done in good faith, hindi kita ano, sir, walang... Pero kung sabihin mo na bayaran, ah, that is another story. I will hit you not because the law was in the limbo, but because of corruption. Even the Justice Secretary, who is a competent lawyer, asked the Supreme Court to clarify the provisions in the GCTA law. When the Secretary of Justice himself, si Guevara, said that we will ask for a clarificatory question or for the Supreme Court to explain. Eh kung may doubt na nga, kapatid si Guevara mag, maghingi pa ng clarification, eh kung ang mga abogado hindi isigurado, then how can you convict this idiot? The chief executive added that it was not even clear who should sign the release papers. Walang silang batas kung sinong magperma. So the guys there sa Bureau, sa Bucor, talk upon themselves to arrogate the power and started a practice which was pra continued. Almost 2,000 convicted criminals guilty of heinous crimes were released based on the GCTA law. But only 300 of them have surrendered to the authorities following the order of the president to recompute their GCTA. These convicted criminals have until September 19 to surrender or they will be treated as fugitives. For News 5, Maricel Halili, we are One News. The revised implementing rules and regulations of the Good Conduct Time Allowance Law has already been submitted to the DOJ and the DALG secretaries. The Joint Review Committee also plans to recommend revisions to the uniform manual and guidelines of the law. While waiting for the conclusion of the Senate and NBI investigations, the DOJ said they will pursue reforms in the Bureau of Corrections, revising the IRR, creating an oversight committee over the Bucor and replacing its Director General are their initial steps to do so. So, but Justice Secretary Minardo Guevara thinks another law should be reviewed. Republic Act 10575, which gives power to Bucor and making it a line agency of the DOJ from its previous status as constituent bureau. Representatives from the Makabayan bloc want to punish the Bucor officials who perpetrated or tolerated the alleged GCTA for sale scam. Even the president, they said, should be held accountable. Ito yung extent ng uh paggagago tulad na sinabi ni Congressman Sarate na nagaganap niya sa Bureau of Corrections. Bulok talaga ang justice system na meron tayo ngayon. Yung Pangulo dapat managot dito dahil napabayaan ng ganito yung Bucor. Ang napapalaya ay ang mga rapist at mamamatay tao. Samantala, matindi yung panunupil at saka uh, panggigipit doon sa mga nasa oposisyon, sa mga nagsasalita. In the latest data of the Philippine National Police, over 300 convicts sentenced over heinous crimes have already surrendered, while more than 200 of them have been turned over to the Bucor. For News 5, Marlene Alcaide, we are One News. The camp of plunder convict Janet Lim Napoles denies that she applied for good conduct time allowance. Napoles lawyer Ronnie Garay says there is no reason for his client to apply for GCTA since she was acquitted in the crime of serious illegal detention filed by Ben Herloy. 
Garay says the Bureau of Corrections committed serious blunders in preparing the GCTA list where Napoli's name is included for supposed rape charges. Commissioner Manuelito Luna of the Philippine Anti-Corruption Commission uh, told Senator Leila Dilima to do herself a favor and simply answer to the Ombudsman's order. The Ombudsman sent a letter to Dilima and former Senator Mar Rojas Tuesday asking them to explain the implementing rules and regulations of the GCTA law. They wrote the IRR when they were cabinet officials of the Aquino administration. Dilima uh, told Luna yesterday, don't bother sending any order because she might just tear it to pieces. Luna said Dilima should stop venting her ire on the PACC. He said that he never said that PACC has jurisdiction over her as they were just raising the issue about the GCTA IRR.